in this video lecture we are going to see the topic random forest algorithm from the third unit supervised learning objectives are to understand about the concepts of random forest algorithm and to apply random forest algorithm for the prediction problems of machine learning it is a popular machine learning algorithm that belongs to supervised learning technique it can be used for both classification and regression problems in ml it is based on the concept of ensemble learning that means ensemble learning means it is a process of combining multiple classifiers to solve a complex problem and to improve the performance of the model random forest is a classifier that contains a number of decision trees on various subset of the given data set and takes the average to improve the predictive accuracy of that data set instead of relying on one decision tree the random forest takes the prediction from each tree and based on the majority votes of prediction it will predicts the final output let us consider the actual scenario the greater number of trees in the forest leads to higher accuracy and prevents the problem of overfitting so let us see the diagram there are n number of decision trees are there decision tree 1 to up to n and n number of training data sets will be applied to each decision tree that is training data set 1 is applied to decision tree 1 and training data set 2 will be applied to decision tree 2 and so on and finally each decision tree will provide one prediction and all those outputs from the all decision trees will be taken analyzed and the majority the answer provided by the majority decision trees will be taken as the final prediction or final output so this is called as ot the value of uh, the majority decision uh, provided by the decision trees will be taken for the as the final output so in this way random forest algorithm combines the results from several decision trees so that the accuracy of the final output will be much better it takes less training time as compared to other algorithms it predicts the output with a high accuracy even for the large data set it runs efficiently so the random forest works actually works in two phase first it is used to calculate the random forest by combining in decision tree and second phase is to make predictions for each tree created in the first phase in step 1 select random k data points from the training set in step 2 build decision trees associated with the selected data points in step 3 it choose the number n for decision trees that you want to build in step 4 repeat step 1 and 2 in step 5 for new data points find the predictions of each decision tree and assign the new data points to the category that wins the majority votes so there we can see one example there is a data set consist of different fruit images and this data set given to the random forest classifier the data set is divided into subsets and given to each decision tree during the training phase each decision tree produces a prediction result and when a new data point occurs then based on the majority of result the random forest classifier predicts the final decision so here there are n number of trees are there decision trees are there and when a new data a fruit image is given apply to the decision tree it will uh, by analyzing with the given data set each decision tree will provide one prediction that is each prediction tree will identify the type of the particular fruit in this way tree 1 is telling this particular fruit is class a tree 2 is telling this particular fruit is class a in this way and finally tree n is telling this particular fruit is class b so when uh, it if all the output of all the decision trees will be analyzed and the majority voting will be taken so now we are considering only three decision trees so the majority prediction is the particular fruit is class a so 
this will be taken as the final prediction applications of random forest there are many sectors are there where uh, random forest algorithms were used banking banking sector mostly uses this algorithm for the identification of loan risk in medicine with the help of this algorithm disease trends and risk of the disease can be identified land use we can identify the areas of similar land using by this algorithm marketing marketing trends can be identified using this algorithm that's all thank you